Babe. Yeah. It's uh, the 50th episode of the Daily Bolt. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Georgia, checking in. Jamie, I never thought you'd get to 50, I'll be honest. Amazing job by everyone. I'm so excited that we've got to 50. Now then, obviously the big milestone is the 100, isn't it? And then, then 365, one I wonder year. by the 100 whether you'll be back in the office. Uh, who knows? Andy Taylor. You all right, buddy? Yeah, how are you? I saw something today and I thought, I saw it and I was like, this has got Andy Taylor written all over it. Facebook have launched shops. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We've been waiting for this forever, it feels like. Uh, and one of the things that we've always hankered after and have been looking forward to is this uh, opportunity to purchase during a live people at Facebook, they have been working their socks off in terms of product development because you've got Facebook rooms, yeah. you get this, um, the stickers on um, Instagram of supporting local businesses and, and they've really, uh, at what's the perfect time for it to happen, make, make differences to, to small businesses. This is vlog number 50 since Daily Bolt. Yes! Over 50 episodes we've kind of been able to document people uh, in lockdown which has been amazing to see. Um, the changes that we've gone as a business and people. Is there anything that you're particularly proud of? Everyone, like I, honestly, it's difficult to pick people out because it's, it's, it's made me realise how fortunate we are to have the people we have working in the business and I love them all. It's, it's so special, our <laughs> company is. The cool, it really is though, you, you may laugh, Jamie. I'm not laughing, but, uh, I agree, Ian. It's, it is special. Day 50 of the vlog has been a really good day from a business perspective. We've had some good briefs come in, we've won some stuff. Um, it's been a really good day. So let's hope day 100's double as good as day 50. Uh, if I get this in, it means we're gonna get to day 100 of the vlog. Oh God, I'm focused on the ball. Oh no! <laughs> yeah! I don't know. <gasps> I'm not two things, sorry. Right, so Facebook Shops uh, is gonna be the ability for businesses to list uh, their products, their services on Facebook, on Instagram, across the network, no fees, absolutely free. The future is here. <laughs> uh, they're gonna start integrating it eventually across like uh, WhatsApp and Messenger as well. That kind of link now between Mm. Uh, for brands like between consumerism and the experience you have on social media, the two are so entwined at this point. Absolutely. Like you know, and and that will never separate. Facebook conducted a study and they said that 11% of small businesses could fail within the next three months uh, if they don't have new tech and new ways to sell their products. And this is a way of them kind of helping to negate that. You know, going back to that live capability, it, it really gives brands the opportunity to almost host their own QVC, QVC style shows. And certainly we, we will look to do that, particularly through the on a budget community. Being able to purchase during a live on mobile is next level and not have to leave the app. Like that is that is incredible. Um, we, we have some you know, big successes on lives and that's with people clicking on the link in the top comment, going out to another website, doing everything. You know, you're sort of losing your viewers, whereas this is, it's, it's like QVC, but it's so accessible. That's the main thing, isn't it? It's super accessible. How many people are on all those flipping apps? Way over two billion. It's, it's madness. A customer base through um, WhatsApp or through Messenger and, and a different one on Instagram that you have on Facebook. 
doesn't matter. Yeah. They're all going to be pulled into your store now, which is amazing. I mean, it's a bit of a stupid place to put your herbs, isn't it? Underneath the I mean, they're not growing too fair, aren't they? Anyway, so it don't matter. Sorry. When I was growing up, outside the house uh, where we lived in the street, there was like a little green, and there was a woman who managed to convince the council to put up a no ball sign. There was a woman called Joan. There's not many old ladies that are horrible, is there? No. She's a horrible old lady. She used to just stop us from playing. It didn't even like affect her house or anything. My dad and all the other dads in the street all chopped it down and all got, <laughs> it's like two metal like bollards, chopped it all down. And my point was, you're like Joan, telling me off for playing board games. Ah. Oh, oh. you, Joan. <laughs> Big love, Jamie.